Hello and welcome. I'm Shanta from Oracle, and I have here with me Jim from Entrust Data Card. Hi, Jim. Hi, Shanta. Thank you for having me. So, Jim, can you tell us about Entrust Data Card, please? Entrust Data Card is a leading provider of trusted identity and secure transaction technologies for financial, government, and consumer markets. I see that we have the architecture diagram of your e-business suite DR integration with Oracle Cloud infrastructure. Can you walk us through this architecture, please, and tell us about what you had prior to OCI? Right, sure. Uh, prior to OCI, we had an off-site data center that we used for disaster recovery. The hardware there was quite old and quite slow and was no longer a viable solution for us. Uh, when it came time to have a new solution, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure was an easy choice for us because it allowed us to continue to use the components we were already familiar with. Our implementation is a small one. It's just a simple database server and an application server for our e-business suite. Uh, we connected the two sites together using a VPN tunnel. It was very easy to configure and very low maintenance. Uh, our database server is connected to the primary database using DataGuard, so that gets logs and stays in sync. And our application server is kept in sync using simple rsync scripts. That's great. Can we now talk about the uh, access to internet? As I understand, your previous DR facility didn't allow the customers to access the location. Right, our old facility did not have internet access. So in the event of a true disaster, our users wouldn't be able to connect through the internet. They would either have to connect through the corporate network if it was still there, or they could go to a facility that had internet connectivity created there. Um, with the new OCI implementation, we were very easily able to create a public subnet and open that up for users to connect through the internet to our e-business suite. Thank you, Jim. So now, in terms of the future application, can you tell us a little bit about how you're going to enhance this architecture? Sure. As I said, our, our implementation was quite small. Uh, one of the things we may do in the future is uh, add another application server to create some load balancing to make the solution even more robust than it already is. Thank you for sharing your story today with us, Jim. Thank you for having me, Shanta. Thank you.